Drew Brown, did you feel on that finish? It looked like a pretty fast kick. Yeah, I felt pretty good. I mean, we had a really hard workout on Wednesday, so uh, we definitely didn't come in here feeling our best. Um, we were just two weeks at, uh, at a little bit of altitude and just two weeks of really grinding. Um, so we're all a little bit tired, but uh, we worked we worked pretty well as a team. It kind of fell, fell apart a little bit in the last like, mile, but uh, I felt good. Um, I was ready to go, and there were guys around me to kind of get me to that last straight, and then I uh, felt good, so I just kicked it in. And, um, yeah, I mean, it was a good day. Uh, had a pretty good showing, so I'm happy with it. What do you think is in store for this team now that you guys have had a couple weeks of training camp, a couple races? You know, what, when you look ahead into the rest of the season, what do, what do you see the potential for this team? I see, I don't know, I don't think there's a cap on how high we can go. Um, I think just based on this last two weeks, we've had two of the best weeks of training I think I've had in a while. Um, and it's just been, uh, we've come together really well as a team. And uh, I mean, I think we need definitely a couple more weeks to really kind of come together a little more as a team and get everyone where they need to be because some of us had late summers and uh, are kind of just getting into real like uh, high mileage and stuff so I think by the time Pac-12's regionals and nationals come we're going to be a team that's going to be talked about and uh, I think we have a really high potential. We finished sixth last year and I have no doubt we could do that again and I definitely think we could uh, surpass that. So it's really just going to be about staying healthy. Uh, we kind of have a limited number of guys. Um, so we're just going to have to kind of stick together, stay healthy, and uh, then we'll really see how I can go. Speaking of the limited guys, you know, Jackson, somebody who's kind of stepped up these first two meets and had nice finishes. What do you see from him and his potential? Oh, man. He's... He's definitely going to be a guy to watch out for. Uh, he's had two of the best weeks of training I've seen him uh, run. He's been, he's dropped me in a couple workouts. Uh, I don't know, he's just, he's just having one of those seasons where he's, ha he's stepping up when someone has to. And I think he's going to be one of those guys that's going to be really critical for us. Um, and I mean, he's a local guy and he loves Oregon. He's been around here forever. So uh, I think it's really going to show and he's going to be a critical part of the team come uh, November. Are you ready to get uh, an Oregon jersey on for next race? <sighs> yes, very ready. Been uh, <laughs> got her up the home hometown, uh, but yeah, I'm definitely ready to get the the duck back on my chest and kind of start scoring some points. So uh, I think next meet should be uh, should be in the in the O. With the coaching moves that happened this past summer, some athletes chose to follow their coaches, whether to here from San Francisco to mm -hmm. UW or wherever. Why did you decide to stay? Uh, just the program, the history. I mean. It's Oregon. I had no doubt that uh, after Andy left, they're gonna. It's it's Oregon. Like they're not gonna bring in uh, a scrub or anything. Like we're bringing in the best of the best, and I mean, think that shows with Coach Thomas. Uh, he's had consistent guys in finals at NCAA's. He's had he's had really good guys. Uh, Tommy Curtin beat Ed Ches a couple years ago, so it shows he can he can coach some cross and really good coach in track. So I think uh, I think. Showing that the people that stayed, it's really a kind of a testament of Oregon and and how prestigious the program is, and uh, I think we're gonna do some really big things. Thanks, 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 yeah, no problem.